As you can see, I nailed this pretty much first time. Um, I, I did not. The trickiest thing I found was cutting the line around the top of the bottle. So you have to score a line with either a glass cut or a sharp implement. Now, you probably can do it by hand, but uh, I had little success with doing that. Trying to make the line join back up with wherever you started, it was uh, hell as tricky. And to try and get it square all the way around so you get a clean break was even trickier for me. So I made this uh, funky looking contraption right here. I then later perfected this by uh, making a few design modifications and ended up with pretty consistent results. The next thing you need to do is to subject the bottle to hot and cold. Now, I saw one person in a video uh, basically immerse the bottle up to where they've scored. Uh, this didn't really work for me. It ended up uh, sort of shattering pretty indiscriminately. I found that more localized heat works better. Um, it's worth mentioning, by the way, in this little clip here of me immersing the bottle, that that was one of my early test bottles for scoring, and there's multiple score lines. And if you do that, that'll just break all over the damn place. But I just had to try different methods of doing it. After that, you're going to have to sand it down and just go through the various grits of sandpaper so that you uh, you basically buff out the, the scratch lines from the previous paper. After copious amounts of sanding, I've ended up with this fairly respectable bottleneck. Um, I didn't score it quite accurately enough, which is why uh, I, I had to sand it flat. It's a good attempt. I can do better than this. I need to refine the scoring process so that uh, it's, it's exactly even all the way around. Out of the bottles that I had, I only had three that had corks. The rest were all screw tops. Um, I'd just like to point out, by the way, that I don't drink. Um, I, I know that's not very rock and roll, but, you know, there it is. I, I just find it tastes disgusting. Uh, fortunately, I've got some friends who are pissheads and were able to give me a bunch of bottles. Uh, unfortunately, they uh, only drink cheap plonk and they all had screw tops. Screw tops are no good because there's not enough playing area. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this. There's not enough playing area between where the uh, screw thread stops and the bottle begins to flare out. Uh, so the uh, the cork ones are better. They're also better because they're made of a much thicker glass and are less likely to shatter. So out of the three cork ones that I've got, the last one is absolutely perfect. Nice and square on the end. It's polished up really well. Uh, the first one I did was pretty close, but that was the one that went a little bit wonky. Um, I'm actually playing better with the wonky one, which is why I'm playing with it in this jam right here. Hope you guys dug the video. Maybe give it a like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Hey.